The Jurassic Journey of Dinosaurs – From Evolution to Extinction Ever wondered why dinosaurs were the ultimate party crashers on Earth? How they came into being is one thing, but what really led to their complete wipeout from Earth? Well, buckle up, because today we are diving into this epic Jurassic journey of dinosaurs, from a remarkable evolution to the chaotic extinction. This story covers it all. You might want to grab your popcorn for this epic ride. Trust me, it's a tale as wild as a T-Rex in a tutu. Welcome, knowledge seekers, to the Universal Facts Channel. Here we unveil fascinating and lesser-known facts from around the world every day. Stay tuned for your daily dose of intriguing knowledge. Picture this. About 230 million years ago, Earth was like a giant prehistoric playground. Dinosaurs were the cool kids on the block. From petite protoceratops to the towering T-Rex, they ruled the land. It was their party, and humans, well, let's just say they didn't stand a chance. But how did it all start? How about we travel back in time? By the end of the video, you might as well be able to write a movie of your own with mind-boggling facts and unexpected tales. Dinosaurs were basically Mother Nature's ultimate makeover. They went from scaly reptiles to feathered fashionistas. I mean, even in prehistoric times, fashion was important. But hey, feathers weren't just for looks. They were the original dino jackets, keeping your scaly friends warm and stylish. But they were also foodies, indulging in some serious herbivore diets. It was like a never-ending salad bar for these reptiles. But all good things come to an end. Unfortunately, or should I say fortunately for us, so did the period of dinosaurs. Speaking of where it all began, the first dinosaur emerged during the Triassic period, approximately 252 million years ago. One of the leading theories believes that dinosaurs evolved from an ancestral species called archosaurs. These dominant reptiles were first seen in the late Permian period. According to some, they looked like dinosaurs. I mean, it's not a surprise because, hey, Mother Nature is magical. Now, evolution cast its magic. Over time, archosaurs split into two groups, one being crocodiles and the second, well, you guessed it, dinosaurs. But it didn't stop there. These reptiles continued evolving into thousands of different species. One of the most fascinating traits they eventually evolved was their bipedal abilities. Luckily, early dinosaurs began to walk on their two limbs. Now their front limbs were free for other important stuff, like hunting and defending themselves. The story is just starting here. Let's go back and imagine you in the Triassic period. As you roam around the land, you'll notice dinosaurs in that period looked, uh, well, pretty different to what you see in Jurassic movies. An Eoraptor was one of the earliest dinosaurs to emerge from archosaurs. It's cute how this little guy was just the size of a dog. It's barely one meter tall and weighs 10 kilograms. I know what you're thinking. Aren't they massive creatures? Well, it's a couple of million more years before this happens. Crazy, right? Now, during the Triassic period, Eoraptors weren't the only ones inhabiting the Earth. They had neighbors. One meter tall and weighing almost 23 kilograms, Coelophysis was another prominent reptile of this era. It was just a little bit bigger than Eoraptor, but that didn't stop him from being extremely fast and agile. They loved feasting with other small animals around. Hashtag Dino Foodie Life. Then comes another kind, the Herrerasaurus, that was slightly taller at about 1.1 meters but massively heavier, around 350 kilograms. The species of Triassic dinosaurs continues to Platyosaurus, who stood tall at about 3 meters with a weight of around 4,000 kilograms. Just when you start to think they can't grow any bigger, they do. Despite their impressive forms, these reptiles unfortunately weren't the dominant creatures in the Triassics. They had to share their habitat with other living creatures. Long story short, the Triassic period ultimately faces its extinction due to various volcanic activities, climate change, and some small asteroid attacks. But it wasn't all bad for dinosaurs. In fact, this moment led to their dominance in the Jurassic period. The Jurassic period is when these massive creatures move from their surviving mode to thriving. Basically, the party era. Over millions of years, different species evolved. However, now dinosaurs rule the Earth. It is their kingdom, as they spread across continents, unleashing their power. Some massive dinosaurs now occupy lush forests and arid deserts. These are some you're more familiar with. Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus, and Allosaurus, some of the largest creatures in history, ruled this reign. 
Some smaller dinosaurs, like theropods, also coexisted. One of the most famous was the Archaeopteryx, a bird-like creature with wings. As we ride through the Jurassic period for about 56 million years, it finally reaches its end. Once again, due to climate change, volcanic activities, and sea level changes, many species are wiped out, pushing the remaining few dinosaurs into the final area, the Cretaceous period. Now that we've traveled through millions of years and entered the Cretaceous period, you might notice something is missing, right? One of the biggest stars hasn't appeared yet. Well, say hello to Tyrannosaurus rex. This massive beast was 3.7 meters tall and 12 meters long, equipped with a powerful jaw and incredibly strong teeth. Safe to say, T-Rex unleashed holy hell on the land. It was one of the most dominant creatures history had ever seen. An active hunter stalking its prey with a keen eyesight and a heightened sense of smell. Its powerful jaw was filled with 12-inch teeth, and its strong hind limbs allowed it to run at a speed of about 40 kilometers per hour. He was indeed the master of the hunt. But its time had to end, and so it did, as violently as the creature itself. Bringing us to the final downfall, the complete extinction through a cataclysmic event. This is where the happy story finally comes to an end. But lucky for us, our dearest Earth wipes off the dinosaurs cleverly. It all starts with an asteroid as big as Mount Everest, making its way towards the Earth, ready to take anything and everything with it. Then it hits, creating a massive crater, 150 kilometers wide and 20 kilometers deep. The collision was massive. The impact was incredibly devastating. It wiped out most of the gigantic reptiles to walk the face of the Earth. But dinosaurs didn't give up easily. No, they faced a slow, agonizing end. Not only was the asteroid 10 kilometers in diameter, but it traveled with a massive speed between 10 and 30 kilometers a second. Its collision sent a huge amount of debris up into the air. This powerful blast also released a bit of Earth's surface into the atmosphere. So minutes later, it rained flaming hot pieces of glass and rock. Much of the debris also reacted with the atmosphere, causing long-lasting acid rain. Remember the impact? Well, it's about to get worse. Shockwaves throughout the planet led to mega tsunamis across the continent. Now, this isn't like anything you see today. No, it was a staggering 30,000 times worse. It definitely destroyed and reshaped the continent. But wait, some dinosaurs even survived this. Surprising, right? The ones farther away from Ground Zero managed to escape this apocalypse, but unfortunately their fate was still sealed. This is where nuclear winters come into the story. Even though it wasn't caused by nuclear weapons, the effect was still the same. The massive amount of debris in the air blocked the sun for years, making the Earth become cold and dark. What happened from here is no better. It disrupted the food chain. Plants weren't able to photosynthesize and started to die out. It eventually starved most of the animals that survived the initial apocalypse. So these undeniably harsh conditions, along with the initial blast, wiped out 75% of the plant life. Luckily, it also included the gigantic and deadly T-Rex. I mean, as much as it is sad, I'm glad to not be greeted by him on the streets today. And there you have it, friends. The rise, the rain, and the curtain call of the dinosaurs. A tale of evolution, survival, and a catastrophic apocalypse. Who would have thought that a massive reptilian fashion show would end with a bang? But here we are, reflecting on the ultimate rise and fall of these prehistoric legends. Well, that, my friend, is life. It goes and goes until it abruptly stops. However, it wraps up our journey through time. If you enjoyed this wild ride, let us know in the comments which dinosaur you think would have had the best Instagram game. Until next time, keep exploring, stay curious, and remember, life finds a way. See you in the next episode with more exciting and haunting facts.